Rebounding would be a big part. I thought we showed some effort there that made it where we could neutralize some of that. But their points in the paint and, and us turning the ball over really was the difference in the game. And you just, you got to, you know, tip your cap to them because they had lost two close games. And you play on the road in this league, it's difficult. But I thought Shed was not going to lose this game, no matter what. It looked like his will to win, his physicality on both sides of the ball, his maturity, his leadership, and just couldn't be more impressed with the way he competed. And he looked like the best guard in our league uh, today. And the way they got after it and kept pressure on us at the basket really caused us problems. Uh, so, man, huge credit to them for bouncing back and the way they fought. A lot of respect for Coach Sampson and his program and the way they compete defensively. It, um, it really showed uh, tonight and caused us significant problems. How much of the way to defend the pick and roll kind of put your guys' offense in a bind there, especially in the first half? Well, a lot of things caused us problems, honestly. Um, you know, they, they, they scored in transition, got a couple of threes and got loose, got loose on a pin down um, because those are the ones that you, you can't give up. And then, you know, their ball screen coverage, their ball screen offense obviously is a big part of it. But how they got close to the paint, 40 points in the paint, I thought that was definitely the most significant part. And when Shed's making shots – from 15 feet, from 12 feet, and then getting those long runners, then how do you defend it? It's very difficult. You know, you make them take some contested twos, and he was making them. And, and when that happens, you really you got to figure out how you get the ball out of his hands, and he's such a physical guard. He definitely causes problems all night long. And you're kind of the proponent of your offense needs to get into the paint to get it going. Guys couldn't kind of get it done there. What's kind of the fix, or what did you see from tonight's game especially in that regard? Yeah, I mean, they don't give very many paint points up. I mean, with their size and length, we got a few baskets that I thought were close enough to the rim, but they blocked them, you know. And so then it's that size. Uh, more, more paint touches and shot fakes give you a chance in that scenario. And just haven't faced this kind of length and this kind of physicality. And when you see it for the first time, it can put you on your heels. And I think our guys, you know, now understand it. And I told them this is what it looks like. You know, this is what it feels like. This is the team that – you know, that presents the most problems to everybody in the country than number one defense, lead everybody in block shots. I mean, it's a, it's a physical way that they play, and uh, it's great to see it in person because now we can grow from it. Anything from this game that you learned or saw that you didn't already know or was just kind of one of those nights for you guys? Well, I mean, they made it one of these nights, <laughs> and I think they're going to do that to a lot of people in this league. But I like for our guys to see the physicality that the game's played with, and I thought it was on both sides. You, you, you see the way they put pressure on the basket, and you could tell that fatigue got us. And there was that stretch about nine minutes where, hey, obviously we didn't play great, but you still are 15, 17. You know, you're in that range where can you get it under 10 going into the last media? Can you kind of shorten that gap? And they just weren't letting it happen. I mean, they were had too many layups and dunks at the rim, and you could tell they really we were fatigued and didn't, didn't and finish the game well. So their physicality on both sides really causes problems. Going through this league is the first time as a head coach. Just what would you say is the most challenging aspect of competing in the Big 12? Just that you know there are going to be nights where you're – you may not play your best basketball, but you better be a learner. You better be sticking together. You better really care for each other, and you gotta, you got to quickly get back into how you're going to win. Can't consume yourself with what happened, you know, and what you're not doing well and think, like, this is going to be hard. you got to be like, yes, it's going to be hard, and I want it to be difficult. I love it. I mean, that's what I told them. Like, what I want to see in those medias is you're looking at me going, yes, this is what we want. This is how we got to get better, and this is how, who we want to play, and that takes – takes some time to build that, especially with a young team. I mean, I looked at Coach Sampson's stats from when he was started 10 years ago, and I think they were like middle of the pack defensively, you know, in the 180s. And so just to see their growth, and now the first year they're, they have the number one defense in the country 10 years later, and told our guys, like, yeah, this is what it looks like. This is what you got to want. You can't look at me like you don't want this. You got to look at me like, yes, this is what I want. And so I think our guys are responding in a positive way and better have a – better have a, a quick turnaround and be ready to go.